John Tesh? It sounds like John Tesh. It is. Very good. Our next guest, folks, is Tom Seaborn. He's a uh, cyclist that holds four ultra-distance cycling records. Can you imagine cycling almost 500 miles in 24 hours? 500 miles? Well, that's just one area of, our, uh, of Tom's life that he excels in. He is also a world-class karate champion. He teaches physical education at Northeast Texas Community College in Mount Pleasant, Texas. He's married and he's got four kids, and I understand another one on the way. So how does he do all this? Well, he's here to give us some fitness and endurance tips, and he has a great book out, Inner Strength. He has another book out coming soon. Tom Seaborn. Tom, good morning. Thanks, Scott. Nice Thanks for being you. with us. Yeah, we you. appreciate you being here. 500 miles in 24 hours? Well, 458. Yeah, I have the, it's called the Iron Butt Record. And, yeah? Uh, for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I hope to defend that this September. Wow, yeah. man, that's a lot. Here, let me... You're going to show us some, some things today. He's going to show us some things on how to... How to, to be fit and be in great shape. You know, I've been working out. Okay, I heard but, you lost 11 pounds. Well, I've yeah. lost more than that, but thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> some days it feels like 11, some days it feels like less. Um, we're going to do a few things today, and you're going to teach us how to do some uh, mind over, over muscle things yes. and everything else. Uh, first, before we do this, uh, tell me what it is you do at the college where you work. Well, I teach activity courses. I teach wellness courses, nutrition, exercise, stress management, anything to do with health and wellness. And, and you're you're really into this Taekwondo, right? Yes. Are you, is, is Taekwondo, you can have a black belt? Or? Yes, sir. Okay, so, and that's what you have? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, like, you're really... Well, really I, I enjoy this. it. I've been doing it since I was 13 years old, and uh, I've been able to compete overseas in Europe and Taiwan, wow. and so I've enjoyed it, and I'd like to show you a little bit of Taekwondo. Okay, all right, all right. that's great. Let me, I'm just going to walk okay. over here, give Colleen my jacket. Very good. Thank you, Colleen. Okay, what are we going to do? Okay, Scott, you know, the easiest techniques are the ones that are going to work, and I'm going to show you one from a sparring stance. So if you could put your hands up like this, good, and face sideways so that nobody will be able to hit you. The first kick is called the side kick. You're going to raise... kick? Yeah, kick. Now, because you're, pan you're wearing some pants that aren't as loose-fitting as mine, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate, and you may not be able to kick as high the first day, but oh. in 16 weeks you would. I can guarantee I can't <laughs> kick as high. Okay. Should we stretch? Well, we should stretch, but we're limited on time. Limited so on time. let's do what we can. Please stretch at home. Yeah, okay? yeah, stretch at home. All right. The first kick is called a side kick. You lift your knee up, out, back, and down, and you're striking with the side edge of your foot. Let's try that. Wait a second. First of all, why are we doing this? Okay, it's a side kick. Only for defense. Only for defense. Okay. Never would we use this in an offensive situation. Let's say someone were to attempt to punch you. Yes. Then go ahead, attempt to punch. Okay. Boom, I oh, throw hello. the kick, right? <laughs> all right, very so good. So let's try that. But now we do, but you're doing this not just for exercise, I mean, not just for defense, right. but you're saying this is good exercise oh, yeah, as well? Yeah. Every time you lift your knee, and go ahead, just lift your knee. Okay. Can you feel your abdominals? Oh, yeah. Tight? yeah. Yeah, every time you lift your knee, your abdominals. So some people, when I was training in Okinawa, we never did any abdominal exercises because just by lifting the knee, that in itself was getting the abdominals to work. Wow. So that's why Taekwondo in itself is a tremendous exercise Can in your Can you body. help flatten your stomach that way? Yes, but it's diet Watch also. me kick. Watch me kick. <laughs> that's okay. pretty good. That's that, not bad. All right, yeah, then what turn do you do? your toes sideways and it'll be perfect. Try it again. Like that. Excellent. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I we should stretch. stretch before we work out. Yes. That's all right. That's all okay. right. So that's a side kick. All right. Let's try one more. This one's a hook kick. You bring your foot up the same way, and then you come around. You come around this way. If your hand, your hands up in a sparring position, then the person's not going to know whether it's a side kick or a hook kick coming. Give that one a try. So it comes up and around this way. Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah, that That's looked like it. the same kick to me. <laughs> no, looked like basically the same okay. kick. All right, now, uh, uh, show us something else here. Okay, now that was a side kick and a hook kick. Now, what we can do is develop our punches, too, because sometimes in a street situation, you won't be able to kick, and you won't ever want to kick high. So go ahead and throw a punch, but when you throw your punch, twist your hip. So let's try that. Are you going to turn that back foot and twist your hip into the punch? Like that? Exactly. Go ahead, throw it. Good. Okay. Do that one more time. Hit with the first two knuckles. Yeah. Excellent. Now, give me a shot to the body as hard as you can. Come on. Practice. Go ahead. No, you're kidding. Yeah, go ahead. No, you Slam it down. You're kidding. Right. Yeah, really? you, yeah, give, give me a shot. Go okay. Ahead. Boom. Oh, ah, now that, ah, hey, now that was a tough punch. All right. Ah, Have you ever thought about boxing? Yeah. You got some natural skills. Let well, me try it. Yeah, thanks. Ready? Tighten oh, it up. Are you going to hit me? Tighten it up. <laughs> all right. Pretty tough stomach. All right. Why is he laughing? <laughs> all right. Scott, you did good. You did very well. Thank now, you. Now, you know that it's not just physical in martial arts or in any sport. There's some mental aspects. I wanted to ask you about that, yeah. and we, we just kind of basically touched about that. This is mental, this is mind over matter, or in this case, mind over muscle. Right. And you have a great way to show people just what your mind can do over 
your body, and, right. and it's it's about it's a bar. Yeah. I'm gonna now. We, we talked about doing this right before the uh, show came on, and we're not sure if, uh, if we've this never is tried work it. Or not. We've never tried it, but right. this is it. First it's like time. we've not we've not met before. Right? Like sound, <laughs> sound like the magician. So I'm gonna take my. What do you want me to do here? Take okay, the arm and straight Scott, out. I want you to imagine a bar going from your shoulder through your elbow out your fingers. Mm -hmm. Open your fingers. Imagine the bar. Don't worry about trying to keep your arm straight. Just imagine that bar and let your mental focus take over. Okay. All right? And when you're ready, let me know. And I'm going to attempt to bend your arm. Tell me when you're ready. OK. Whoa. Well, OK. All right. Now, that was good. Now, this is his very first time. He never got to practice it before. And but I mean, you put some strength in there. Yeah. And, and I'm telling before you, you I gave did up. well. You did really well. And let me just say this, if you can imagine that bar and practice this, then pretty soon that's going to improve your performance. Give me a shot. Go ahead and, now, and bend my arm. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Just put your one hand here, right. one hand there. Now, go ahead and bend it. Now, I'm going to be focusing on that bar. There's no and way. it's going to be really difficult for him to bend my arm yeah. just because I'm focusing on the bar. And it's nothing magical or mystical. It's just focus. It's being able to relax and concentrate. OK, now, the practical purpose of this is? Is so that when you're playing your sport, you play tennis, right? Yeah. So that when you're watching that ball, you relax and you just let your body take over. Oh, it's a focusing thing. Absolutely. It's, okay. it's your mind. And, 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 and again, it's nothing mystical. A lot of people think, oh, this is from the Orient. It's something. It's not. It's, not it's something all. anybody can do with practice. Wow. Yeah. And you practice wellness as well, inner wellness? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a whole mind-body thing. Yeah. You, you can't do just one. You can't do just the physical. It's mental. It's spiritual, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prayer, all that is involved. Well. You have something also before we... Hi, you want to come in? Scott, I Deborah's just, got, uh, Deborah's I just wanted to something. try to bend your arm, too. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, nice to meet you. I've never met Deborah before. Hi. Oh, Tom, Deborah Duncan, Deborah Tom. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Tom, you run into that kind of thing all the time? That's the first time. Absolutely the first time. It was nice to meet Deborah, though. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, she never does that during a cooking segment. You know? <laughs> she never just walks into a cooking segment and does that. That's well. really funny. That's, that was the, was the muscle thing, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> plyometrics. Tell me what plyometrics. plyometrics are. Plyometrics are jumping drills, and you've seen other athletes do them, and maybe you've seen sprinters do them. And if you're a tennis player, this is going to improve your ability. You know how when you have to go back for the overhead, right. and sometimes you have to jump up and hit it? This is going to improve your ability to jump. Now, once again, never do plyometrics unless you're wearing tennis shoes and you're on a soft ground. We're going to do some just basic movements today, okay? Okay, we just, do, we just have time for one second okay. here to do this. But I know what you're talking about. When the sprinters get out on the, on the track and yes. they're doing this kind of stuff yes. to try to warm up, right? and, th and that's to warm the, their system up? It warms up and also gets them bound and gets the muscles prepared for their event, for their particular wow, event. that's yeah. great. Tom, thanks. Uh, Guide to Inner Strength and the name of the, uh, uh, the book. And then you've got a new one coming out called Cross Training, right? Yes, coming out in 15 days. Very good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Scott, thanks so we much. We appreciate you coming. It. Thank All you very right. much. And, and Deborah really appreciated you. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed thanks. that or not. Deborah, again, nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah, Deborah, he loves you. <laughs> we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us. If you want more information on, you can, on how to get the book, call our viewer uh, hotline. We'll give you the information. We'll be right back. Still thanks. ahead. See you.